So, um, right, this is the question two of the logs question. And uh, given that P is equal to 80 and Q is equal to 300, it's always funny, you know, when you've got a question that tells you where you're heading towards, it's, it's quite hard to mark because lots of people kind of bluff their way through it. And there were a number of people who, at least one, maybe two or three people actually wrote down ln ep squared over q equals 261. And, and that was kind of that came after some working out as if to show me that they've done it and there was the yes. Right, so, so we need to show that. Now we need to be demonstrating some um, knowledge of our laws of uh, logarithms. Like a good place to start might be saying that this is the same as ln e t squared minus the natural log of q. That, that would be a good start. That would probably get you a mark um, out of this. If we then look at what we've got going on here as well, well, this, this is, we split this up, don't we? This is natural log of e plus the natural log of p squared. Now, the natural log of p squared I'm going to write as 2 natural log of p. And I'm going to pause at that point because that's quite a good bit to have got to. Maybe I'll write one more line. Maybe I'll write that that is 1 plus 2 LNP minus LNQ. Okay? And now I need to think what, what is LNP and what is LNQ. So, so I'll think back to what we started with. We had that P was e to the 280. If I rearrange that equation, that means that natural log of P is the natural log of e to the 280. And of course, the natural log of e to the 280 is 280. So LNP is 280. And from the other statement, Q is e to the 300. So natural log of Q is equal to 300. Now I can substitute these values into my statement down here. And this becomes 1 plus twice natural log of P, which is 280 minus the natural log of Q, which is 300. And, uh, and if we finish that, that is 261. There were a few people who came up with 260 and then tried to pretend it was 261. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, they'd lost the LNE. And, and that, it's noticeable that a few people have done that. <laughs> right, part B. Um, Find the smallest integer. Actually, part, part one of this wasn't desperately well done, but part two was done really quite well. And lots of people picked up at least some marks for this. The smallest, smallest integer, which satisfies the inequality 5 to the n is greater than p times q. This one was interesting, actually. Okay, well. Um, P times Q, P times Q, that, we can take that straight from what we've got there, that is e to the 280 times e to the 300, isn't it? Um, so 5 to the n is greater than e to the 280 times e to the 300. And, and this is going way back to remembering indices in core 1 in the first week of your AS here. When you multiply two things with the same base number, you add the powers. So that's 5 to the n is greater than e to the 580. Let's rearrange this statement. Let's take natural logs of both sides. It makes sense to take natural log because we've got e over here. So the natural log of 5 to the n is greater than the natural log of e to the 580. As we've already demonstrated, that right-hand side is just equal to 580. The 580 comes down to the front and ln e is 1. The n comes down to the front. So we're saying that n is greater than 580 over the natural log of 5. Sorry, n is greater than 580 over the natural log of 5. Um, remember, we've got to just be extra careful because we don't always realise whether we're dividing by a negative or not. But ln 5, well, 5 is bigger than 2.7 or whatever. So ln 5 is going to be positive, isn't it? So we've got not to do anything with turning that sign <coughs> At this point, we're just going to put this into a calculator and see what we get. It comes up as being 360 points. 37 bar 260. What was it, Dan? 37 bar 260. 
and, and then it, it goes on, doesn't it, after that. Um, but the question said, find the smallest integer n that satisfies this inequality. So if n is greater than that, the smallest integer that it could possibly be must be 3, 6, 1, the smallest integer greater than that. Um, and that's it. That's the difference. So that is uh, a random of some sort.